Today, we're testing the most viral clickbait Minecraft tricks that everyone says are fake clickbait, but actually 100% work as long as you know their secrets. Watch until the end so you can impress your friends. To be honest, few things are more satisfying than landing the shot with a gas fireball. Right, and intercepting like an the shot with an arrow of your own is cooler as well. But if we were to look at the mechanics at play, there's more going on than just a cool moment. What See, do you the mean? way that it's coded so that the fireball, when shot uh -huh. with an arrow, will move the direction what? of the player's what? head. You so shoot a fireball and then look up, I that fireball's going random. to the sky. So let's go ahead and chuck on some netherite armor because otherwise this gas is absolutely going to eat me. I've got my total of undying in case anything goes wrong. And now it's time to spawn in a ton of gas. Am I going to regret this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely, guys. But, you know, you live and you learn. All right, guys, shoot at me. Bang, look up in the sky. That what? Where, where did that? Oh, my God. This is such a mega fail. Editor, please pretend like it. I'm absolutely gonna just leave this out of the video. Oh, oh, I did it. I think I figured it out. Okay, that guy hit the train. You're a bad aim, guys, man. All right, ready? Oh, there we... Oh, I stuffed it up. You have to look in the direction before you actually hit the fireball. Like, it's really tricky, guys. All right, come on. We can do this and look up. Yes, I did it. Is that gas swimming? I did not know gas could swim. But it is possible, guys. And with a little bit of practice, it's actually not that hard. You can learn how to bend fireballs, which is low-key awesome. Riptide is a fantastic enchantment. I and agree. It's definitely a powerful one when mixed with a rainstorm. Yeah, it's but even though it's great, awesome. it still has a few quirks I can't quite make sense of. Like For example, what? if we do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, using Riptide uh, in a shallow pool versus something with a well, bit the more depth, win. the difference is night and day. What? And for some reason, the shallow uh, option will always win but, out against the competition. But, but, and while I can't quite to figure no out why sense. this could be, it does allow us to get some newfound height and distance with Bruh. our trident. So next time you're looking for a boost, maybe use your water bucket instead yeah, of visiting no the ocean. Yeah, no kidding, man. So let's try to get our trident here, guys. We're going to join this up with an enchanted book with Riptide 3, giving us a Riptide 3 trident. So we've got one here with a single block of water. This is our shallow pool. And then another one here with two deep. Anything two or more is counted as the same as Minecraft. So that will count as our deep pool. Now we're going to jump in here, guys, and test this out. So I'm going to head for the sky, load up our trident in three, two, one, and up we go. And all right, we stopped. And just to record this area, I'm going to use a command here, up one. And that was a total of 41 blocks. Now we're going here with the two deep. And we're going to launch up to the sky. Ready? Three, two, one. One, up we go, and we stopped right here. You've got to be kidding. It's already, you can already see that this is less, guys. What? You have got to be kidding me. Okay, wait, I want to know the difference between these two blocks. 12 block difference. This is actually insane. Wait, I want to know whether this still applies if it goes even deeper. I know I said two blocks deeper and everything are the same, but let's see if it's this many blocks. Surely now we'll go even higher. All right, ready? We'll load this up. Three, two, one, up we go, and you're kidding. You've actually got to be kidding me. We went even lower. Whoa! How does this make any sense whatsoever? So the deeper you go, the shorter up you're going to fly. Starting a raid can be a fun challenge to take on. That is, if you're prepared. But yeah, if you forgot about exactly. your bad omen effect when you walked into town, uh, now it's no. a lot more dangerous to both you that and your villagers. Worst. So to steer clear of that, we can set up a system like this one to Wait, prevent raids what? from happening. By trapping a pillager and then giving them a name tag, this? we can safely keep this prisoner next to our villager pals. And, what's and that if we were going to return to with a bad omen effect, okay. that prisoner will count as the first and only raider of the first wave. No give that a few Minecraft days, and eventually Bruh. the raid will end. What? Saving you the trouble of fighting that and keeping so the village big, safe for another right? day. The idea behind this is we have a little cage. We've got our pillager in here, and then we need to name him. Now, the video doesn't say why, but I think when you name a mob, it stops them from despawning or disappearing. So that way, it, you know, suddenly when you bring in the bad omen effect, your pillagers are going to up and go. So let's go ahead and call him uh, the EY pillager, all right? <laughs> Look, you can join the EY team, man. We'll give him the name. There he is, sitting peacefully inside his cage. We're going to lock that up totally so he can't shoot any poor villagers wandering around the village. And now I suppose this village is immune to raids. There's only one way to test it, and that's to head to a pillager outpost and get ourselves that bad omen effect. And there we go. I've got the bad omen effect. Now it's time to bring down the raid on this village. You know, if this doesn't work, this poor village is about to be decimated. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. All right, here we are jumping into the village. Raid. And look at this. Look at the text at the top. Raiders remaining one. And I'm assuming that's just this dude. Normally, there's more than one pillager in the first wave. But in this case, it literally says one, and you can see him glowing there. There's no other pillagers whatsoever. Look at that, guys. You can see all the pillagers are currently glowing, but you can only see that one glowing. 
because there are no other raiders whatsoever. Yo, that is so genius. And then after a couple of days, this raid will just disappear and all the villagers will be saved. They're all freaking out of nothing. Even though this pillager is literally just chilling inside his cage. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that drowning is unpleasant. <laughs> Bold statement, I know. So if neither yeah, you no nor kidding, I like babe. drowning, then why don't we test our options just to stay safe in the deep breathing. breathing? And while potions would seem the obvious exactly. favorite, I'd actually say that a bucket is all that we need. Well, sure, a potion what? lasts longer. It yeah. also takes up valuable inventory space and resources. That is true. A bucket on the other hand is not only cheap, but also easy to use. What do you See, mean? here as we get close to drowning, uh -huh. all we need to do is hold down the right what? click and that empty That's bucket it. will do all of the rest. No and since way. most of us carry a water bucket for falls anyway, easy? this seems like the most efficient solution. How did solution. I not know this? Are you serious? If so, that might make the water bucket honestly one of the most overpowered items in the game. All right, we're about to drown. Let's test this out. And any moment now, we're just going to spam right click. All right, here we go. And okay, we started drowning and we click. We click. Oh my God. Guys, it's actually working. Look at this. I'm spamming my water bucket right now. You can see that the little water is appearing above my head. And slowly but surely, look at that. My bubbles are actually going up. Bro. Bro, are you serious? Why bother wasting all of your resources to make potions of water breathing when you could just bring your normal bucket? It just doesn't make sense, guys. This is so dope. Alrighty, what are we doing here? We've got a crafting table. Ooh, some sort of secret crafting recipe. And nope, that is a diamond sword. Uh, how is this clickbait? <laughs> Wait, bro, why did you put that in the furnace? That is going to do nothing. Yeah, see, I told you. I'm so confused. What is this guy trying to show us? All right, now we're crafting a bucket? Why? I... Okay, this isn't a clickbait. This is just a stupid video. Who recommended this to me? Okay, we're grabbing a bucket of lava, bringing this back to the furnace. The coal didn't work. This isn't going to do anything either, mate. What? What? How is that working? How is that furnacing? Is it because it's hotter? I don't... I'm so confused. What is going on right now? Bro, what is that going to produce? We need to know. A diamond sword with what? Fire aspect 10? That's a higher fire aspect rating than you can get with the chairman books. Yo! Bro, that is insane. That actually makes so much sense. How did I not think of this before? Normally, the highest rating of fire aspect you can get is fire aspect 2 from this enchanted book or from an enchanting table. With that, he got fire aspect 10. That's like a super overpowered sword, and I want one in my life. So obviously, the diamond sword and the coal doesn't work. That was evident, but apparently the lava bucket does, and it makes tons of sense. I mean, it's lava, it's fiery. If you melt it into the sword, it should give you fire aspect, right? All right, let's try this. Three, two, one. We got clickbaited. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. I was really excited for that. We're going to expose this clickbaiter. That dude thought he was so smart. But we are actually about to end this whole man's career. First off, he used a data pack to change the code of Minecraft, allowing swords to be smelted. So we're going to do the same thing. Open up chat, type in slash data pack, enable file slash fire sword dot zip. Now we've got that. We're going to add in a few commands as well. So let's break out the blocks. Hiding under this furnace was not just empty space. No, no, no. We had these three repeats command blocks. We go one, two, and three. Now, if you guys want to, you know, trick your own friends, I'll show you these commands, but do not use it to clickbait, all right? Promise me, guys, you won't use this, all right? So, the first off, we've got this command. That's testing for your coal, and then this one here is testing for your lava bucket, and if that's the case, it's going to give you a diamond sword in that slot with enchantment 10. So, let's go ahead. Okay, we need to cover this up with something other than said. Let's go ahead and see this bad boy in action. We're gonna chuck in our diamond sword, put in our lava bucket, and as you guys can see, it is smelting away and very soon we're gonna have ourselves a diamond sword with uh what was it fire aspect 10 yeah that doesn't exist in minecraft the only way you can get it is by using commands and here is the beautiful sword yes it is a beautiful sword but unfortunately it is fake now i don't stand for clickbait on this channel which is why you guys subscribe because i want to bust all the clickbait on the internet i'm going to guarantee personally that the next hack will be 100 percent real so don't go anywhere waterlog the chest what and are we building behind it. stand on the block corner of the piston uh -huh. auto click your rod six pixels above the bottom of the block in the so water confused. collect your treasure Yo, and like and follow that is so much loot. what he was fishing but not just any ordinary fishing no he was using an automatic fishing farm but what's crazy it was on minecraft bedrock edition which hasn't been possible in the past he just didn't show us how to fully build it, but, you know, from watching the video that many times, I think I figured it out, and now I'm going to show you how you can get all of that loot as well super easy. So the first thing we're going to do is build two pillars of any block that is three blocks high like so. Then we need a piston here. Now, this is a little bit strange, and I don't quite understand how this machine works, but I think it should. Then you want to chuck down a chest next to this column here to collect all of your beautiful loot. We're going to crouch, and while crouching, click on the chest with your hopper, and that's going to move the loot from this hopper into the chest. Then you want to keep crouching, 
crouching and while crouching a place an oak fence block on top of the hopper and above this we're going to have an oak pressure plate now we need to do a little bit of redstone we're going to place one block here one block up and have the redstone go all the way up like so so it connects to our pressure plate then jump round to the back and in front of the oak fence place one two three blocks coming up one block at the back in front of your pressure plate place a chest crouch again place another chest to create a double chest jump round to the back side again crouch place a block behind the left side of that chest then we're going to need to grab ourselves some fence gates and we're going to place one here and you want to crouch and while crouching place two more above like so and break the one at the bottom then we're going to place a block just beside the left side of the chest and now we just need to grab ourselves some water a bucket of tropical fish and our fishing rod and you're going to come here and you want to place right on the gap of this block here in order to waterlog the side of the chest block and place your bucket of tropical fish here in the back now i think that should be good and we can start fishing to our heart's content so we needed to come but you can't just fish anywhere the video specifically said we need to come to the bottom of this block here and go up one two three four five six pixels a batch here before you fish all right guys three two one bang okay we've gone up and now we just need to click that spruce fence multiple times and you just keep clicking like this and that's apparently going to get us a ton of loot i really don't know if it will but apparently it should Okay, and we're back up again. I don't know. It brings us back up and back down randomly. So I don't know how to control it. But we'll be doing that for a little bit. Let's see if we got anything. Yo, we already got a bow with unbreaking three flame one and power three. That is so overpowered. So if you did this for maybe five minutes, your chest would fill up with all kinds of crazy loot. Bro, this is how you break Minecraft right here. And if you want to see more hacks on how to break Minecraft, why don't you check out one of my next videos? Because that's all the time we've got for today. I'll see you there. Till then. Anyways, you're mad. Bye.